and then there's also a Bad Moon Rising video as well, which oh. is basically a live a live version. It's not the single itself. We played it live. All oh, right, okay. I'll, I'll, have, I'll, have, I'll have another look. See if I can <laughs> see if I can find that one. But that's available now. Yes. See, on, that's, that's, on YouTube. that's why I'm confused as to the release date is December. I uh, guess it's a, it's a release separate to the EP. So even though people can can get it and it's available now, um, it's servicing it to radio stations. That's that's the difference, I guess. Okay. <laughs> and then when the CD comes out, um, all the tra- most a lot of the tracks will have been available. As single downloads or as an EP, is that is that a fair thing to say? Or would it be all new tracks? Well, the EP itself is out now. Um, I guess we haven't we haven't really thought that far ahead whether because we're hoping to make an album together. So the tracks on that album, I'm not sure if there'll be some of them from the EP or all of them or none of them. I'm, we're not sure yet. We've we've yet to uh, figure out what what our plan is. I guess it's with with Taylor and me. We kind of take it every day as, as it comes you know it's it's all been very natural from the beginning and we seem to just find our way by running with it I guess and, and seeing what happens so that's the plan with the album see where we go writing wise if we if we write enough for a whole album and we don't want to put anything from the EP on it then that's what we'll do Okay and the, the other thing I don't know if, you, if you'd know the answer to this but um, Narita's been putting out an EP a month is yes. that right through this year? Yeah. So would you imagine there's any plan to pick out a CD length of tracks and put that out at some point? Of her own stuff? Of her own stuff. I have no idea. No. I have okay. no idea. Well, I you just thought I'd, be... I'd ask the question because yeah. it just didn't make a lot of sense to me to <laughs> <laughs> just be putting out EPs every yeah, month think... and not collect them in some way. Yeah, I think she has been releasing them physically um, as well, which is amazing It's because to get anything any form of of music out there you know as as a physical thing even as a download now it's it's it can be well it is a lot of work especially the writing side and she's done a ridiculous amount of songs in a year so it would fill way more than an album if she did it so i don't know how she'd choose but um they're amazing you should definitely check them out yeah well i found a couple (laughs) she seems to put one track on youtube from each one that she does Mm, yeah seems to be so real We'll, 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 our, our approach to the show is to check out YouTube <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do that and we'll, we'll look out for information about your CD when it comes out brilliant ok mm, thank well thanks, thanks a lot thank you very much so that, that seems to work worked alright the, the, the computer and so forth it all queued up on the right time yep. this is a fabulous studio John it is fantastic it is, it's really good and um the other thing, since then, on through email, I've I've suggested that um, an Aretha. Well, it's it's a song called "Dark End of the Street," which Aretha has covered, and um, there's lots of other people have done it as well, which I think I think might suit them. Yeah. And um, so uh, Maria said they're, they're going to think about it. So I'm, I'm going to play that as well and just lead back to a, a couple more tracks from from the Aretha CD. Mm-hmm. So this is the um, the Flying Burrito Brothers.